In this episode, we sail from St. Martin to St. Bart, where we spend three nights, then do an overnight passage back to BVI via Virgin Gorda and finish on Norman Island. Been overtaken as we leave St. Martin. We're having a kind of a wild ride. We made it to St. Bart. We're in, uh, I think it's called Column. Call him, yeah. That's German. Sandy said that you do a... Oh, a little nasally. Call him, yeah. We spent one night in Columbia and went to Gustavia the next day to clear in. Down to Gustavia. The fort. This is to prove, come on crew, turn around crew. This is to prove the crew is in St. Bart. I'm gonna just pan over there. Full of tourists. St. Bart's full of tourists. It's rumored that Jimmy Buffett ate a cheeseburger here. So we're gonna come here and have a beer. We did some reprovisioning and found this. Utah whiskey in the Caribbean. And look at the price. It's so cheap. It's only 77 euros. I think that's a good idea. Wow. We're in the Bar de Lubli, which is the Bar of Oblivion. There was plenty of rain brought on, I assume, by the approaching tropical storm Brett. Sunset in St. Bart. Sunday afternoon in St. Bart. I'm pretty sure this video does not capture how turquoise this water really is. It's beautiful. We would have explored Gustavia Sunday, but our dinghy was treacherously low on fuel and the fuel dock is closed on Sundays. So we relaxed on amnesia. Yeah. We were church going people. Here we are in St. Bart's. There's nothing to do. It's probably the most boring place in the Caribbean on a Sunday. So Joy's uh, cracked out our little portable washing machine and doing laundry. And we went for a swim. Yeah, it was a nice storm. Yeah. And that's about it. This is the rinse cycle. Checked out of St. Bart's, uh, well cleared out I guess, is what you call it. We cleared out of St. Bart's. We need to refuel our dinghy. Um, unfortunately our dinghy has a two-stroke engine because that's what TMM prefers. And the fuel dock here does not have oil for two strokes. So we gotta go find some place that has some two-stroke oil. And then we'll go refuel the dinghy and we'll leave and back to BDI. Well, the dinghy is fueled. We're back on board. We're about ready to um, get off of this anchor and start 
hour passage back to BVI. Our sail back took us by St. Martin. And there we're sailing by Simpsons Bay on St. Martin. Got a massive three and a half to four knots. Airport's over there somewhere. Overtake it. Quick pan over to Phillipsburg. There's a big cruise ship over there. And according to AIS, it says that its next destination is St. Thomas. So I don't know if it's going to go there tonight or maybe it came from there yesterday. Yeah, uh, we're underway. Yeah, we're doing kind of a broad reach. We're at 150, the apparent wind. We got us a barber hauler set up. That's really sweet. Uh, half apparent. Yep. Oh, true. You're right. We're doing it through. About a third of true wind speed. I'm looking at the wrong numbers, and that's not Mark's video. At this speed, we got 18 hours to go. Well, that's good. Early morning arrival. Yeah, so excited. And we made it to Virgin Gorda. This is a site of Virgin Gorda we've never seen before. Come back over here and get a picture of the helmsman. Helm. Oh, yeah, we're working hard. <laughs> Made it to Virgin Water in, in uh, less than 24 hours. There's another view of Necker Island. Good news is winds are predicted to increase towards the end of this uh, week as a tro as a hurricane comes through. So tropical storm Brett. Tropical, tropical storm Brett, which may become hurricane Brett. We cleared in in Virgin Gorda, and since we were there, we took the time to visit the baths. All right, Devil's Bay. I've been to the baths probably three times and never came to Devil's Bay. Pretty nice. Here's Sandy carefully backing down a steep staircase in the baths. Yeah. Our last night was spent at Norman Island, where we celebrated with a shot ski at Willie T. Our nearly three-week journey had come to an end. I'll leave you with one more look at the ring in St. Bart. Great.